is a distinguished teacher? Who is a distinguished teacher? It's an academic who stands out amongst his peers, who is a thought leader in the field, who has committed him or herself to teaching excellence. And more recently, the distinguished teacher is one who shows a keen interest in the abilities and capacities of students, particularly in a multicultural context, and particularly in the era of technology, where students bring with them different learning styles and abilities. These are two very young academics, and the committee has recognized that they go beyond the call of duty in producing a very caring and inspirational learning environment. And both have embraced and fully integrated the scholarship of teaching and learning into their disciplines, one in leadership and one in property development, which is not common. And I think that is really something that's outstanding, where it shows that the scholarship of teaching and learning is not just confined to education per se, but it actually transcends boundaries at higher education institutions. And the, the pants that you should maybe... As a student, you always have a very regimented approach to learning. It's more like going to church on Sunday or more like a chore you have to do. So once you have a teacher who is able to engage you and make you find perspective and find interest in, in what you're doing, that for me is always a good teacher. It needs to be linked uh, to what you have outlined. Yeah, that's, that's very good, very good and awards and promotions. Dr. Cecile is one of the most calmest people that you can work with. You know, even under the most trying circumstances, she's patient with her students. We're gonna come back to the debate a bit later. For now, just the points. Eh? What's remarkable about Cecile is that her reserved nature actually is an ind a wonderful indication of great authenticity. She's not flashy. She doesn't do magic tricks. She does really great, wonderful connections with students and with the discipline that she's engaging with. If you look at a, a situation in the classroom, you'll see that she leads by example. And I think she, she has a, a very strong partnership with the students where students are prepared to engage. Uh, students are prepared to really give off the best. She's a hard worker and makes you feel that I must also work hard in terms of my research and in terms of what I'm doing. Uh, she pushes you. She's that kind of person who pushes you. And she's able to guide you. Uh, and that's, that's a very, very important quality. The students have enjoyed that with her. Uh, not often do you find that when you speak to a lecturer, they, they give you the undivided attention. She lets you speak first, get your point across, and then she'll provide you with the appropriate response. Essentially, I see myself as a facilitator of learning to facilitate the development of the leadership skills of students and also research skills. Many of the students come from private and public sector, they come from diverse backgrounds and they are in managerial and leadership positions. I try to have them reflect on what they are doing in the organisations, how they lead, um, how they are motivating followers, how they um, draw on power, such concepts related to leadership. It's only the person. So you're saying it affects male leadership and female leadership? Yes, exactly. it does. I see myself as being instrumental in them developing, um, learning about themselves, learning to become better leaders, and I think in the process also contributing to social change. When they successfully complete the module, the program, and when they graduate as well, it's especially rewarding and following on from that when they go on to pursue masters or even a PhD and that motivates you and especially when they come back years later and inform you about how the teaching, the concepts they learned actually made a difference. I'm quite honoured and humbled also to have received this award and at the end of the day it's not necessarily my own actions, it's my students also who contributed to me becoming a better teacher um, my colleagues, especially the ones that I started working with who took time to teach me as well how to um, be a better teacher, to teach to postgraduate working students. Um, and I think essentially it's effort of students, academic administrators and of course my own family as well that has encouraged me. Well, Dr. Vittorio, the one thing I really admire about him is his dedication and his will to always go beyond the bare minimum. And that's something that I picked up from him from the moment I, I was exposed to his teaching method and his 
and his way of learning. I believe that uh, a good teacher must be firstly uh, passionate, must be curious, uh, uh, must be available to listen to the student firstly and uh, particularly must be eager to, to learn from uh, others. I see teaching and learning uh, uh, as a, a, bi a bi-directional learning process, uh, probably first to me in this context because uh, a variety of experiences and uh, their opinion that they bring uh, to the class, so that the class itself is also uh, a place, an opportunity to share experience and uh, to learn uh, essentially from each other. What makes him very special is the fact that he does it with great passion, um, he does uh, um, uh, have a very strong attention to detail. Each word has a certain weight in the meaning that you want to communicate. His work is impeccable. He takes pride in what he does and he expects the same from you. Revise, 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 refine, refine and refine. It's a process that uh, you need to refine several times. And I suppose as you, when you're a master's student, you realize how important the little things are. For example, he gets back to you in time. He doesn't take two months with your work, so he's always there to not only guide you throughout the process, but to ensure that he aids you and you, you come out as a better researcher. All his lecturing is research-led. So he brings in the innovation that he himself has researched on the specific subject. It is up-to-date and relevant information. Uh, Vittorio has in fact inspired a new program of UKZN, for which he is a co-author, co-initiator, uh, called Green UKZN. The passion that he has for green building and green technologies, uh, to me, he was able to infuse that with the technology to modernize the curriculum. You can see that under the umbrella of uh, green building technology, we have several aspects uh, that uh, we can touch. The idea is that obviously you should uh, every time try to see the global picture. For me, even though I did the, uh, I had him in first year, now I'm in fourth year, but he definitely stands out till today as being one of the best lecturers that I've had the pleasures of actually attending in UKZN. What I really like that they take from the experience in the classroom is to grow as independent learners and particularly as critical thinkers about the problem in construction to social, economic and environmental implication. I'm truly honored to, to receive this, this award and this prestigious award. And I believe that I must share this uh, recognition uh, with my colleagues of uh, uh, the newly established the Construction Studies Programme. Uh, due to the tremendous uh, teamwork that uh, we have committed to in this period in order to massively review our uh, curriculum and uh, also to maybe improve the teaching and learning practices.